crude distillation to salt and mix valve delta P. One of the questions that always comes up, guys, when I teach my troubleshooting seminars about crude distillation is what is a good desalt and mix valve delta P? Typically, it says in the literature, and the vendors will recommend this to you, a mix valve delta P of about 10 pounds. That's not the way I do it. For example, if I'm carrying over an emulsion out of the desalter, what good does it do to increase the mix valve delta P? No, you're better off opening up the mix valve all the way and suppressing the emulsion to try to retard the carryover of brine out with the desalted crude. At any rate, in a modern correct crude unit design, this question should never come up. It should never come up because you shouldn't have a mix valve in the first place. On all the modern crude units that I work on and all the crude units I retrofit, the wash water is put upstream of the crude preheat exchanger train. And then the wash water tends to keep the crude preheat exchangers cleaner. And by the time you have the crude arriving with the wash water to the desalter, the wash water and the crude is already perfectly well mixed and no mix valve is required. And I'm speaking not from theoretical knowledge, but from personal field testing, where I go out, open up the mix valve, open up the bypass around the mix valve, put all the water upstream of the first crude preheat exchanger train, and it only helps salt removal into the desalter.